Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for our use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. Okay, so let's move further and see what is the use case for today. So we are restricting past date selections on date field. Okay, so let's check what is the use case for this. So this is the use case. We have to restrict the past date selections on date field for planned start date under change request. Okay, so let's move further in my personal developer instance and show how we can implement this use case. Okay, so let's move. As you can see, I have loaded into my personal developer instance. So let's move and see how we can implement this use case. So let's move further. So I will open our change request table from here. Change request dot list. List in caps will open change request list in a new tab. So you can see our change request list will be opening in our new tab. So here we can find there are multiple records displayed here. So we will try to open those uh, change change request record. So this is our change request. Currently, what we are uh, uh, trying to achieve is like planned start date should not be older than today. Okay. So as you can see, today date is displaying here is 16th July. Okay. So it should not take before 16 July. It should only take after 16 July or 16th. Okay. So we, we can see like 13. We are selected as 13. So it can be selected. Okay. Nothing is showing as alert and it can be saved also. Okay. For this implementation. So I will create a UI policy and implement this like you should not be able to add previous date from today. Okay. So let me try to implement this validation. So I will create a UI policy for this. So configure UI policies. So I will try to create a new UI policy here. So I will write start date should not be added as added before today this is our short description for planned start date so let me add planned also okay now what is the condition here condition would be planned start date should not be like planned date is before today if it is before today, so we will add a script for this uh, execution. If suppose planned start date is before today, before today means it will execute a true. So let me write a true condition here. It is before today. So we will write an alert. Planned start date. Should not be added before today. Okay, we will format this text and save the record. Okay, so this record is saved. Now let's check what is happening on our change request form. So you can see our change request form is loaded and let me try to select previous dates. So see we are getting an alert. Okay. So we have clicked on okay but see you can see the older date is still populated. It should not allow to add older date as well. So what we will do is like we will add one more line of code here like gform dot clear value to start date 
okay so let me try to save this and now we will load our change request form again and you can see it is loaded now and like I will try to select older dates so suppose I am selecting 13 this error is coming and this value will be cleared out okay now let's try to select future dates so future dates will be populated no alert will be shown because uh, the condition is before today so it is executing false in false section we didn't write anything so it will get updated okay so this is all about this use case so this is this was very easy and usually used in many process in service now okay please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it